Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I am going to show you how to design noise-free dual polarity 12 volt power supply unit. So before starting please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of different project that we will update in near future. We all know that power supply have considering role in electronic circuit or you can also say that power supply is basic building block of electronic circuit and project. Power supply furnishes the voltage and current requirement for electronic circuit operation. But the main problem is that most of the electric power is generated as AC power. But for operation of most of the electronic circuit we need DC power supply. Sometimes output of power supply consisting on wanted ripple component that is component of supply frequency and its harmonic. We should take care of this unwanted noise or harmonic component because this might cause problem, especially in audio and RF circuit. Sometimes this noise may lead to circuit failure. In order to solve this type of issue, here we came up with noise-free dual polarity 12 volt power supply unit. From this terminal we get plus 12 volt and ground, whereas from this terminal we get ground and minus 12 volt power supply. Now let's see the component required for this project. One resistor that is R1 is equal to 5.6 kilo ohm resistor. Here we use six ceramic capacitor each of 0.1 microfarad C1, C2, C3, C4, C9, and C10. Two electrolytic capacitor each of 1000 microfarad is used here that is C5 and C6. Whereas two electrolytic capacitor each of 100 microfarad is also used here C7 and C8. This 4 electrolytic capacitor voltage rating is of 35 volt. Now let's see the semiconductor required for this project. As you can see here, 6 diode is used here. D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 and D6. Each are general purpose rectifier diode that is 1 and 4007. For positive voltage regulator, we are using 7812. Similarly, for negative power supply, here we are using LM7912. These two voltage regulators are of linear positive and negative voltage regulator. What miscellaneous object is used or what miscellaneous component is used in this project? One 5mm LED in order to indicate the power supply. One transformer. Here, transformer X1 is rated as 230 volt AC primary to 9 volt 0 volt 9 volt at 2 ampere secondary center type transformer. As you can see here, this transformer is of center type type. This is for 9 volt, this is for 0 volt, and this is also for 9 volt. Similarly, two heat sink each for voltage regulator IC. And this type of connector in order to get input and output power supply. For better description of the circuit, I had splitted the entire circuit diagram into three different parts. One as transformer and rectifier unit, second as filter unit, third as regulation unit. So let's see the circuit diagram. Transformer and rectifier unit. Here we are using center tap transformer. Thus in secondary side we have three terminal. 2 for 9 volt and center is for 0 volt. Primary winding up transformer is connected to 2 to 30 volt AC mains where secondary winding is connected to rectifier input. 2 9 volt AC secondary winding is connected to AC input of rectifier that is between diode D1 and D2 and D3 and D4 as shown in circuit diagram where 0 volt terminal is for ground. The rectifier circuit is designed using 4 rectifier diode that is 1 and 4007. 4 ceramic capacitor each of value 0 0.1 microfarad are connected across each rectifier diode that is D1 to D4 in order to eliminate noise and harmonic available in supply frequency. Now the output of rectifier it's DC that is of single polarity but pulsating in nature. It contains DC component and unwanted ripple. This pulsating ripple is removed by using filter capacitor. 2. Filter circuit unit. 
filtering power of circuit is directly proportional to large value of capacitor that is larger the capacitor better the filtering capacity but larger value of capacitor increase cost and size thus we have to do trade off between these three parameter that is filtration power cost and size if you have to design power supply for audio circuit then you have to choose better filtering power that is higher value of capacitor where for normal circuit cost and size prefer in that case you can use lower value of capacitor in general 1000 microfarad is quite enough while connecting this filter capacitor that is capacitor c5 and c6 we have to consider few things as you can see in circuit diagram electrolytic capacitor c5 is connected normally that is positive lead of this capacitor is connected to positive supply and negative lead is connected to ground while connecting capacitor c6 we have to consider about polarity as we all know that ground is positive in comparison to negative power supply thus positive terminal of capacitor c6 must be connected to ground and negative polarity of capacitor c6 must be connected to negative output 3 regulator circuit before going to regulator circuit let's clear about why we need regulator circuit 1 when magnitude of ac means varies that is increase or decrease output also varies for that let's consider an example if you see the equation of transformer that is vp by vs is equal to np by ns where np and ns are number of turn in primary and secondary side similarly vp and vs are primary side voltage and secondary side voltage if voltage at primary side changes that is voltage of main supply changes voltage at secondary side also changes because turn ratio of winding is constant thus without using regulator we cannot get constant voltage at output 2 when magnitude of load current increases output voltage decrease and vice versa in order to solve this problem we are using linear voltage regulator 1 positive power supply filtered dc positive output is connected to v in pin that is pin 1 of linear voltage regulator ic lm7812 where ground pin pin 2 is connected to ground plus 12 volt at 1 ampere output is obtained from pin 3 when the voltage is above 13.2 volt similarly for negative power supply filtered dc negative output is connected to pin 2 that is v in pin of linear negative voltage regulator IC LM7912 where ground pin that is pin 1 is connected to ground and we will get minus 12 volt at 1 ampere output from pin 3. Here we are further using two electrolytic capacitor each of 100 microfarad and two ceramic capacitor each of 0.1 microfarad connected across output of positive and negative power supply in order to ensure a stable operation diode d5 and d6 is used here as protecting diode and protect it from reverse supply voltage let's see the complete circuit diagram it's time to see the output after connecting all the component now let's see the output of this circuit this power supply connect this primary winding to ac mains and switch on the ac main as you can see here these led glow up indicate power is available to the circuit now adjust this multimeter to 20 volt DC measurement range and connect this multimeter probe to this output pin. Here this first pin is for 12 volt positive 12 volt and this second is for negative. As you can see here it display voltage of 12.13. Similarly now let's measure negative supply. As you can as I already mentioned this pin and this pin is sorted. It is for ground. Now let's measure. It's so minus 11.97 voltage that is tends to 12 volt. In this way you can make your own 12 volt dual polarity noise free power supply. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon.